Hello and welcome to my guide in getting started with TSM4. Now last time we looked at setting up basic groups using DB Market and DB Region Market as operations and price sources. Now I'm going to look today in more detail into crafting and how you'd price those groups and also how you'd set up crafting and shopping operations for those groups. So say for example I'm an enchanter and I want to make some things. So let's go over to my enchanting window. In fact, I've just sold something there. And let's say I looked at this and I wanted to make a load of the binding of Critical Strike, Haste, Mastery and Versatility rings. Now, some of these are showing as negative profits at the moment because that will be based on the price of the mat cost of Chaos Crystals, which is currently coming in at 44 gold, and Arcana, which is coming in at 6 gold 87. So all of these have quite a good sale rate, 0 0.48, 0 0.55, 0 0.53 and 0 0.3 for the versatility. So I'm going to make a group that contains all of these and then we're going to make posting operations for these based on our crafting price source. So we go into our groups, I'm going to add another group onto the base group, I'm going to call this one Enchanting. Now inside of this we're going to make a subgroup and call this Legion Rings. And then we're going to add in each of the enchants. I've already previously made them, so they're in my bags. So it makes it very easy just to drop those in, add those four items in like that. So now we're going to create a new auctioning operation. We're going to override the parent one, and we're going to create a new operation. Now this operation, operation is going to be based on our crafting. So we're going to call this one crafting. Um, now how many would we want to make? We've got one of each at the moment, but we might want to sell more than one of each. So maybe we'll do five different ones at one of each and a percentage of min 110%. It's here you can start thinking about what your naming convention is going to be for each of these, whether this makes sense to you or not, because um, you might not know whether it's five by one or one by five. And so there's different ways you can do this. It's all down to your own personal taste really. So we're going to a posting operation. As I know in chance sell quite frequently, I'm going to keep this at 24 hours for this one. And I keep the post cap to 5 and the stack size to 1. And I'm going to change the bid percent again down to 96%, undercut by 1 copper. And then this time I'm going to be looking at the crafting as my minimum price. So basically I don't want to sell anything for less than it costs me to make it. So I'm going to put in a percentage here of 110% crafting. If we look at the um, min max normal prices here, we can see that currently it's at 470 as a minimum price for each of these, because my crafting cost is 427. So the minimum price is an extra 10% on top of that, so it takes me to 470. Now the maximum price, we could use crafting for all of these, but you'd probably have to do quite large percentages because the crafting price does fluctuate depending on your material costs. So let's say we went with something like 800% crafting. You don't always have to use the same price source for all three, but it just helps at the start to keep an eye on how everything works together. So we're going to do this at say something like 200% uh, crafting. I know within chance there's a very small chance that there'll be none others on so I'm going to keep this at just post that at minimum price and if it's at maximum post at maximum price. So now if we were to look at our tool tips for these you can see here that our minimum for critical strike is 470 and then we can look here at the actual auctions when they were last scanned 32 minutes ago and you can see of the 26 auctions there, the minimum was actually 400 gold. And interesting looking at that, that's a very round number. So someone's manually put that one on. So that's a, that's below my min price. Um, the actual market value is coming out at 549 gold. My normal is 855, which seems to match more closely to the region market average at the current moment. And then my maximum is up to 3,400. And I know in the past enchants have gotten that high, so you never know. And then the same with the haste. 
that is, you can see the min buyout for that is actually at 1436. And now you can see there the crafting cost of that is a profit of a thousand gold. And then this one you can see is a negative profit because the min buyout again is a 400 flat rate. And then that one's a small profit of 122 gold. So that is our crafting for when we post things. So what we can do, that legion rings, that's got the crafting operation of 5 times 1 minimum 110% of crafting. So if we were to post those on now, we select the rings. Oops, wrong tab. So if we were to post those on now, we select the rings and we run a post scan. So you can see here that um, the versatility and the, the haste in particular are going to be a profit. That's, that's going to be a good one, a thousand profit. And if we would check these against the other auctions that are on, if we change this percentage to buy out here, you can see them in order. And so 400 gold for a critical strike. There's only the six of one on for a flat rate there, which is 73%. And then everything else is at 507. And so the price of our critical strike is going to go on for 470, which is our minimum price. So we're going to go in between in between this one at 400 and this one at 507. If we were to set that operation to ignore minimum price, Go into the settings here and go to the cog here and instead of post at minimum price we say ignore auctions below minimum and now if we do a post scan it says here we're undercutting the competition on the critical strike and instead of going in at 470 we're actually going in just below this one at 507 so that's a useful thing to bear in mind is there are some situations where you might want to use that and this is a particular case where it's going to be useful. So let's post these four on. That's them all posted using the scroll wheel. Now there's other factors um, with crafting that you can set up crafting operations and you can set up shopping operations which will tie in very nicely with the whole um, crafting profession. So. For instance, we've got these rings here. We can also go into the group here. There we go. We've literally just sold a burning of haste already. We've just put that one on. And so we're going to go here and we have crafting operations here. So we're going to make a new crafting operation to tie in with our rings. Create new operation. So with our new operation here, our crafting operation, I'm going to change the uh, maximum restock quantity to something quite high, like 10. I want to make 10 of these. And the reason I'm doing that is because I already have some in my bank, and I want to make sure that I can show you how this works. So we're going to change this operation. I'm going to call this craft 10 of each. And then we're going to set the minimum profit. Instead of 100 gold, we're going to base this off our crafting. And so we want to take into account the crafting cost. Now you'd think to put in 110% minimum profit of crafting, but because TSM already knows about the base cost of crafting, you're only going to add on on top of that. So you'd actually put in 10% crafting. So basically you're only going to make things that are in profit. Now there's other things you can do here to override these craft value methods, but um, that's a whole nother topic we can get into. So for now we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to make 10 of each of these so if I was to go into my enchanting window and click on the group here, and if I select the rings and restock selected groups, now it's going to ask to make the binding of haste and the binding of versatility. It hasn't selected the other two because as we saw, they were negative. So it's only the versatility and the haste that are in profit. So those are the ones that TSM is suggesting we make, and it's not suggesting we make these because they're not in profit at the moment. So this is a really good way of restocking on things, but only if they're going to make you money. So then what we would do is you can see here, I'm missing some enchanting vellum and a whole load of arcana. So you'd go into your gathering tab, and then you can see here, um, my current sources for these are in the guild bank because I know I've got some in there. 
and you could do open task list. You can move this off to the side and then open your guild bank. You can see here in the task list under the gathering option, you've got get from guild bank. It's not open at the moment, so that's saying not open. And this is how much of each of you uh, TSM needs in order to be able to craft the things we want to craft. So I'm going to open up my guild bank. You can see here, this is where I've got all my enchants. So I'm going to click move here and TSM will copy everything out of the guild bank and into my bags. And that's where that's disappeared now. And then if we bring this back up, you can see the gathering window is now empty. And we go back to the crafting window and you can see these are both green five of these and six of these because we've already got some in our bank uh, that's why we're going to make just uh, five and six of these so you can use craft next or you can use the scroll wheel and then you can make all of these and then it'll automatically go to the other ones and craft those now the thing to think about is our auctioning operation wasn't for to post ten of them so we need to go and have a look at back at that and go to our group and look at our legion rings group look at the group operations there so we've got craft 10 of each and this is a posting operation for crafting and we're going to do five each of one so that means that even though we've got 10 we're not going to put enough on so what we can do is change this and change this to crafting 10 times one and in the posting we can change the post cap from 5 to 10. You could keep it at 5 and then when some more sell you can post some more on. That's quite handy if you were to keep a rolling undercut going if the market's moving particularly fast. For now we're just going to go with the whole 10. So we go over to Legion Rings, run another post scan. So now here we're going to post at my current price um, of 549 gold um, which is a profit of 121 gold per ring and the haste we're going to undercut the competition and we're going to still make a thousand profit on those so we're going to do six of the versatility so we'll run through the scroll wheel on those and then five of the bindings of haste and those are on too. Now there's another side to crafting and that's gaining your source materials so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another group in and this is going to be for all the materials that I will need for my rings which in the case of rings is going to be arcana and chaos crystals. I'd also add in ley light shards there because they, they all, the three of them go hand in hand. So I'm just going to get some from my bags so that way when, you're, when your items are in your bags it's a lot easier to add them into a group. Just sold a mark of the claw. That isn't in this group yet. So we've got our group for the crafting and selling rings, um, but this one is going to be a shopping group, and we're not going to use the same materials here. We're going to use Arcana, Chaos Crystals, and Ley Light Shard. So what I'm going to do here is put in a shopping operation. So we need a new group here. I'm going to call this Legion Reagents, and I'm going to put into that Arcana, Chaos Crystal, and Ley Light Shard. Now these are going to have an operation, but this is going to be a shopping operation. I'm going to tick this and I'm going to go create new operation. So this shopping operation, we're going to base this off of our average buy price. Because remember we had smart averages turned on. Now TSM doesn't currently have a record of any average buy price of these. So we're going to put the general option here, maximum auction price of average buy. So this is another price source from TSM. It's going to look at my average buy source. Now if I were to bring the bags up now, you can, if I hover over these, there is no record of an average buy because TSM hasn't registered that I bought any yet. If I was to buy some, then it would know what they, they are. So the first time we run this, it's going to show me everything, which is why I'm also going to say show auctions above max price. So now when we go in and we go to the auction tab and we've got here in shopping, we've got Legion Reagents. We can run a shopping scan. Now the percentage is coming out as dashed lines because T TSM doesn't have a record of everything. So we're going to change the order instead of do um, average buy, which is what it's looking for, or do just the regular buyout. Now here you can see this is where you would look for all your um, Arcana, Leylight Shard and Chaos Crystals. At the moment they're relatively cheap. Um, Arcana seems a bit pricey because you can make three Arcana from one Leylight Shard. But for the purposes of just getting an average buy into each of these, 
I'm going to just buy, say I'm going to buy that 123 of the Chaos Crystals at 34 gold. And then I'm going to buy the Ley Light Shards. I'm going to buy the three stacks of 20. And for the Arcana, even though it's quite expensive, I'm going to just buy this. I'm going to buy one of these here at four of one, just so that I've got a record of something. And then the next time I do a shopping scan, at least TSM knows what my buy price was last time. So now if I collect those up, I just do the buys for this one. I'll keep the sales in there. So now when I look at the tooltip, you can see here, uh, TSM now has a record for the purchase price, min, average, and max price. And as it was the one purchase at the moment of 123 Chaos Crystals, so now it's got purchase price of 34 gold. The mat cost is coming in at 45 gold because that's what the market value is. If we were to go into the pricing sources for those particular materials, go into crafting reports, materials, we select enchanting, and if we search for, well, you can see it here, Chaos Crystals. Now the, the Chaos Crystals min is between DB Market, Crafting, Vendor Buy, and Convert DB Market. Convert is something like if you're going to do a Lay Shatter or Chaos Shatter. Now the thing this doesn't have in here is my average buy price. So what I'm going to do is go into my settings, and in my crafting here, let's change this to average buy. I showed this in the original setup video, but this just gives you an idea as to where you can put it in if you didn't follow that one. So now, when I go into my enchanting, into the materials, all professions, enchanting, you see chaos crystals there, it's now saying 34 gold, which is based on my new purchase price, which my average purchase price is less than the market value. So it's taking the minimum of all of those uh, values, and it's saying the material cost is 34 for those which is more accurate in this case because we bought them from the auction house. In the case of Arcana, now the mat cost for that is coming from the, not from our purchase price, which was 14 gold 93, but actually from our crafting cost, which comes from the lay shatter, which comes out at five gold 81. So it makes more sense for me to make my Arcana from doing a lay shatter with those current prices. So if we were to do the shopping scan again, this time, because we've got an average buy price, it's automatically ordered everything, and it's a percentage of that. As you can see here, there's, there is some Arcana now for less than our average buy price. So what we'd want to do in this situation is go through and check the auction house regularly to see if we can buy Arcana, Ley Light Shard, and Chaos Crystals for less than we bought them for in the, the time before. So basically we're trying to maximize our profits by doing two things, sell for the best price possible and also get our materials for the lowest part price possible. So now we've got a shopping operation tied in. So now our group for enchanting has the reagents which has the shopping operation in it, which is the arcana, the chaos crystal and the ley light. And then we have an operation just for selling the rings and for crafting the rings. So I hope that gives you an idea as to how to set up basic groups for something like professions and how to do crafting operations and auctioning operations and shopping operations. So I hope you found that useful. Good luck and happy gold making. Until next time, goodbye.